Hey everyone, I'm Steve with Mount Comfort RV. Thanks for visiting us today here and looking at this video. I was wearing my Coachman shirt. It's uh, cold out today and I thought I'd wear a long sleeve shirt and I realized, well, I may as well do a Coachman video since I got the shirt on. Um, so I thought, what does Coachman have that a lot of other people don't? The one where the came to mind was Asdell. So today I kind of want to go over with you what Asdell is, a little bit more in depth than just hearing about it on a sticker on the side of a coach. So first off, if we can, let's take a look here. If you can see, this is Asdell. Asdell's got a lot of great properties. It's puncture resistant. Um, it's more sound absorbent than um, the Luon Woodbackers. Um, but the best thing about it is it's very lightweight. It's almost like a waffle board. It's so light. It's hard to tell here, but it's, it's almost like you're, just, you're holding air. Um, but it's twice as strong as wood. And the best part about it is it's invincible or rotting. Um, it's a little porous, so if you do get water in, it'll just kind of go down through it. But the way these RVs are built, and this is a Luon wall, is they're either pinch rolled or vacuum bond. They're laminated, and it can be done through pinch rolling or vacuum bonding. And all these things are put together and with glue. They're just made into a sandwich, and it's extremely strong. The, um, the Asdell goes right here behind the fiberglass and the paneling on the inside. Um, this is obviously, like I said, Luon, but if you had Asdell, like this right here, you see it's a little bit of a lighter color depending on which type of Asdell you have, and it, it really doesn't matter. It's just a uh, composite material. So, what does this mean to you? Well, let me show you something. Like I said, rotting is the best thing that Asdell has. Um, it's inability to rot, I should say. This, okay, we put this in this jar, mason jar full of water, over three years ago. As soon as we put this in, the water immediately discolored. And over time, you see we have a, kind of an, a chipboard over here, but in here we have Asda, or excuse me, not Asda, we have uh, the Luon backer. You see how clean that Luon looks right here? See how dirty it looks in here? I'm gonna spin this around. You see it's chipped off and broken here. Now folks, if I unscrewed this and you could smell it through there, it's, it's a horrific, horrendous smell. It smells horrible, like a sewer almost. Um, and this is in our climate controlled building. Humidity's not changing, temperature's not changing. If this was outside where it was getting colder, freezing at times and contracting and expanding with the heat, um, it, would, it would almost be nothing right now. This is Asdell. We put in over four years ago, so over a year longer than this has been in here, just sitting in this water. That's all you have. Maybe a few particles floating around here, um, but it's not from the Asdell, it's not from the styrofoam. If you can see the glue is still holding the Asdell. You see it seeped into the styrofoam, it's still there. Hasn't hurt it at all. This has got mildew, mold growing up at the top. It's uh, just disgusting. And anybody who's had an RV, you realize the biggest thing you can do is keep the water out. However, if you store it outside, if it doesn't have cover, when things freeze and then they expand, they contract in the winter time, snow melts, then it reef, you know, turns into water, gets in parts of your roof and then freezes, it expands a little bit, opens some things up. A lot of things will get a little leak here and there over time. And the worst thing that can happen is this, and then you start to get delamination, which I don't have a, uh, an example but it's the bubbling you see on the side of the trailer where the Luon has rotted away and the fiberglass has, has no backer and it just kind of bubbles on the side. It's extremely expensive to fix um, and it takes some time as well and it obviously kills the value of the coach. There's nothing worse um, if we take a trade in. If we see delamination, it's really, really, really gonna lower the value of that trade because we know the people who may buy it are not gonna pay the same amount as if that trade had no delamination to it. So this saves you money in the long run by far. Um, as you'll see, this is a regular wall with a wood on backer. All right, just so you can see the inside of that. Now, this is a Coachman Freelander wall that the styrofoam has been torn off the back. Of course, you know, we've done that. And you can see there's absolutely no wood between um, between the fiberglass and the styrofoam. It's all Asdell. So that's 
got to be, in my opinion, the best thing about our Coachman Freelanders, our Prisms, and all of our Coachman Class A gas models. And since we're on the walls and I have these up here, I've also got to point this out. Look at the thickness. If you're looking at anything with a motor in it, see if that's got an inch and a half wall. That's a big cost savings if somebody's doing that. Two inch thick wall is going to give you a lot more insulation, a lot better sound protection from anybody outside, anybody who's been to the campground, especially over July 4th and Memorial Day, you know it can get a little crazy. And it's nice to be able to not hear a lot of those sounds. So two inch wall, definitely superior to an inch and a half. Um, I hope this has been beneficial for all of you who've heard the Asdell word kind of been told what it's about but not seen any real life examples. If you got any questions, feel free, give me a call 317-898-6676 or um, anybody here about Comfort RV will be happy to tell you why the, the newer technology, the Asdell, well makes it worth it over the old technology of just having a Luan back or your sidewalls. Thanks a lot for your guys' time and have a good day.